Hello, welcome to the next video, which today is this BMW M4. Bit of an interesting one on this one. Uh, this car was professionally detailed and ceramic coated with a seven year coating uh, in October and it's now just gone, I think it's the 2nd of February today. Have a look, look at this coating. Interesting. It's pretty clear there's nothing on there, not even a wax or a sealant. Uh, even if even if you put a sort of rubbish sealant on there, I still, still hope to see something only, what is it, three or four months later, uh, whereas there's no water behavior at all, which suggests to me there was nothing put on there at all. Um, also, not that we can see, but uh, once we get inside, or if it was a sunny day, you'd be able to see that the top panels are actually quite clear. So the roof, obviously carbon with the M4, and the boot lid and the bonnet are all very, um, well not very good, but they're much better than the rest of the car because the person who detailed it before uh, only polished the top areas. For some strange reason. Uh, I think he booked it in, my customer booked it in for a two day detail with them and the guy had it done by four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, not, not surprised because he only polished three panels and didn't coat it. Um, just make sure if you are going to get your car detailed, you do your research on who's doing it, check their reviews, get some testimonials, check their social media, make sure they've got plenty of posts of cars they've actually done um, because there are plenty of really good detailers out there. And then, yeah, if you, if you are around the UK, uh, further up north, and you want me to recommend anyone, just let me know. There's plenty of good guys I know out there who do amazing work. So don't waste your money on people that are just trying to make a quick like buck as it is on um, ripping people off on cars. There are so many good people out there that can do a really good job on your car. With that bit over, let's get into it. Oh, oh that's a look. Right, it's a bit wet, so switch is the GoPro outside for the wash process. from the clay that it's clearly not been properly clayed before um, which is frustrating but that's why I do it anyway even though it's been detailed um, any coating any semi even semi decent coating should stop a lot of the products that do bond onto the paint that the clay removes so that's just another sign that it's just not really got anything on it so time to continue around the whole car and remove all the contaminants before we can inspect the paint um, which is gonna be funny I imagine very, very difficult to see, but there is um, sort of machine-related marks 
not quite pigtails, but um, just marks from where a polishing machine has been or not been used properly. So as I mentioned before, the top areas aren't actually that bad because that's where it has been polished. Um, it's just the rest of the car, which is also just as important. And like the lower sections, for example, if you come over here to the door, you can just see it's not really been touched. The bonnet is far from perfect. It's quite a difficult color. Found out it's Tanzanite blue. It's called, I don't think you might be able to see the marks a bit easier, but uh, not as heavy on the bonnet. No, I mean, the carbon roof always hides stuff quite well. It just looks a bit hazy. But um, so let's find out some combinations that work and start clearing up the easier areas first, which is probably where I'll start the, the roof, the bonnet, and the rear deck, and then work my way down to the harder stuff. I need a second to take a breath to keep me guessing with what you say. You're in my head. So a quick cut and test, refine to see how the finish comes out. So really nice finish, almost completely perfect. This is a minor correction, so not shooting for complete perfection, but I mean, on these areas that have already been polished, it'll be pretty close. Quick update, uh, all the big five inch pad sections on the bonnet are done, so everything, all the flat surfaces basically just need to now go in with a three inch, or maybe even a one inch around all of the channels, the more intricate bits just to tuck right in, so especially along here, um, and around the hump for the engine, and then probably head up to the roof. nasty mark down here on the left sill left sill yeah obviously before the carbon fiber was put on um, so I'm gonna tackle that now I've just finished making my way across the basically the whole left side um, very hard work really didn't want to play ball um, very hard paint so lots and lots of cutting um, and it's still not perfect we've got to go over the eyebrow with a few bits but um, as you can see it's looking much better really chopped up though you can see it needs refining, but we'll tackle that and then that's this whole side done, except from the rear end. But, but.
so you can see the light there is clearing up nicely. Uh, it's quite hazy from the cutting as always, but uh, that will clear up on the refinement. Uh, so time to make my way down the rear bumper, down the top decks, and uh, this section, and behind the license plate. Uh, so just gonna focus on the rear bumper, get that all cut up and get it looking nice. Bit of an interesting section back here. You can see where it's so... <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, as Matt said, the person who polished it has cut the rear deck and there's like a burn sort of like buffer trail burn mark there but it's just so hazy there you go you can sort of see how just micro marring is either cut it with a microfiber pad or just a really aggressive pad and then not refined it so I oh, what I'll actually do is cut this again because there's still so many marks in there and then we will refine it see how bloomy it is weird how much that's cleared up with the cutting uh, so I really don't know what's going on before with it and how they cut it so aggressively because um, I actually just use a really aggressive compound on a microfiber pad and it's actually cleaned it up almost so um, just go ahead and find that and it's good to go
on the way back from work yesterday, I decided to hit a fox with my car and it took out my oil sump. So, had to drop that off to get it fixed. Uh, it's a bit late. Uh, but, just finishing the final touches on these flat pillars and then we go refine the whole car. Refining time. Old school classics. That's why I'm bobbing my head like a bit of an have a quick lunch break and um, all the refinements done you saw me actually using the white pad as well as the yellow pad no the yellow pad as well as the white pad uh, because some areas where it was cut a bit harsher by me um, just needed a little bit extra um, more aggression to refine all those marks out as they were so deep uh, so just a combination of the yellow and the white on certain areas and now it's looking really sharp so time to go over the coating which is up there behind the chicken and rice sometimes you love the time Coating time. Blow it off, make sure I don't get any glass fragments from the dried coating on there. So that's it, the M4 is all complete. Tanzanite blue, as you can see, looking amazing. Um, thank you very much for watching. Stop laughing at me, Matt. Um, enjoy the after shots. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.